there's a good chance you've never heard of BlackRock. Founded in only 1988, in less than 30 years, this American financial firm would grow to become the company that owns the world, managing assets worth $6.3 trillion. These are assets that belong to their clients, mainly the pension funds of ordinary people, teachers, police officers, nurses, and many more. And that's just the beginning. BlackRock has also developed a software platform called Aladdin to perform risk analysis for its clients. It receives sensitive data from banks, insurance companies, and other important institutions. Through Aladdin, BlackRock has insights about the management of financial assets worth another $20 trillion. BlackRock also has shares and voting rights in many of the biggest European companies, in sectors such as energy, oil and gas, transportation, food, and of course, finance. The company holds public debt in the form of bonds and has real estate interests. And still, there's more. Our rock, you see, wears many hats. Aside from being an investor, it is also an auditor and an advisor. Governments and central banks invite a BlackRock subsidiary called BlackRock Solutions to audit them and to provide advice about the management and rescue of banks. Yet at the same time, BlackRock is often a major shareholder in these same banks. In other words, the company often sits on both sides of the table. BlackRock Solutions gets privileged access to highly sensitive information, information that could be valuable to BlackRock itself. Does this constitute a conflict of interest? No, says BlackRock, which claims that the company has established Chinese walls between its different subsidiaries. In January 2018, BlackRock's founder and chairman, Larry Fink, sent a letter to all of the CEOs of the companies BlackRock is invested in, asking them to do more than deliver financial performance and make a positive contribution to society. So BlackRock not only owns the world, it also wants to save it? So teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family. It is a very imperative time we get back to learning finances and understanding how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned. Your whole life is planned out. Now, basically, I want to thank those who purchased the book, Crypto Teacher, and W.O. Book. Also, those who donate to the Cash Out Patreon. Much love. Now, of course, guys, we want to get into Bitcoin crypto markets first. As we can see, Tether has taken the XRP spot again. Guys, remember, I tell you, stick to the fundamentals. So, basically, stable coins are what pump, pumps the market and what dumps the market. Uh, also, make sure you're looking at volume, and XRP is now clearly a new indicator. Now, right now, as the market states, right now, we're taking a dump. Tomorrow, remember I said, we still have the repo money, that $22 billion. So, basically, we should take a lift up, and then Tuesday, dump again. So, dump, pump, and then dump again, because, of course, we have what? We have BitMEX, and we have CME. Now, BitMEX, remember, that contract start on the 5th of the month. So, that's the reason why the market ticks up. So, guys, if you are, of course, if you're a trader, you're, you're buying, the, you know, you're making money whether it's pumping or dumping. But, if you are a, a guy that just want to make a quick dollar, buy it at the low, sell it at the highs, you have to know these dates. So, therefore, you can make easy money. You buy these dips. And then, of course, the contract start on the 5th. So you have XRP, you have to use Bitcoin in order to do the XRP swap. Ether, same way. You have to do the uh you have to use Bitcoin in order to do the derivatives. So the fact is that guys they have to use Bitcoin. So that's the reason why Bitcoin gets that leg up at the beginning of the month. We just like I said, you have to stay focused on these dates and also the indicators. Never ever let the fundamentals go. Don't worry about no Satoshi wallet or uh, the Bitcoin miners, guys, Bitcoin miners is only a, a few. We know this is mainly in China and in a few hands. So, guys, just make sure that you are sticking to the fundamentals. And just like I said, basically, we have the CME and BitMEX the last Friday. So, we dump a few days before and a few days after. That's why I said Tuesday, uh, you know, Tuesday morning, Tuesday night, we should take a dump, you know, for, of course, rest of the week. Of course, we have the little ups and downs but still the market will go down now also uh basically you had uh circle now guys remember that circle 
um, is owned by Goldman Sachs. And I think this article is funny because it says Circle, Bank of England, IMF, and the PBOC discuss, you know, digital currency and the China model. But the fact is, of course, Circle owns Polynex, and of course, uh, Goldman Sachs owns Circle. So guys, it's the same hands that own the whole market. It's the same banks, guys. It's the same banks. Of course, we have central banks. We have the reserve, uh, the Federal Reserve, of course, which is pumping the tether, uh, the USDC. We see all the, you know, millions and millions of dollars. Like I tell you guys, make sure that you go to Well Alert and get you a calculator, and you'll see all the money that they're setting aside. That's going to be the new, the U.S. dollar. They're going to have the U.S. dollar stable coin. And of course, I went over yesterday how Bank of America is going to have their stable coin. I'm sorry, not Bank of America, but the Bank of China is going to have their uh, stable coin. So, uh, and of course, it's going to have that Asian connection. So, guys, we have to understand the big picture. Now, of course, we have uh, BlackRock, who's who's buying all these corporate bonds, acting as the government. And like this article says, similar to like a fourth branch, guys. They own trillions. Now, we had the PNC. I went over PNC selling shares of like $17 billion. That's a drop in the bucket, guys. Only thing they're doing is freeing up uh, you know, money to, to buy other ventures. But the fact is that when we saw that, we saw the market what? The stock market go what? Boom, it went up. In 2010, it started to go up. So like I stated, we have the election year. I'm going to be very surprised. Though if we don't hit 30,000, and remember, I told everybody that the market was going to go right back up. By the dip, if you go back to the video that I had that has uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, you look at those stocks, you would have made 200, 300% of your money back. Look at, Go back and look at the stocks, look at the data when I, when I uh, did that video, and then you look at the stocks now. So the fact is that, guys, it's easy. The only thing you have to do is look at the hands that control everything. You go and invest your money where they are invested. It's simple. Tesla hasn't made a dime, but their stock goes up. Netflix hasn't made a dime. Stocks go up. Amazon, the only thing that they have is the cloud. That's it. Other than that, they just started making money maybe two years ago. They weren't making any money. But if you have the hands in, if, you, if the government is behind your the banks, if they're behind you, that's what's going to happen. How do you think Walmart took over, you know, the grocery store business? Don't forget the video of George Bush bringing on uh, the Walton. So, guys, we have to make sure that we understand the big picture. Once you understand everything is planned, you can get in and make your money, and it's easy money. But, guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget, I'm going to bring you the video that will make you think. Of course, everybody enjoyed the video yesterday. I did the connection. Make sure you watch the Sophia Stewart video before you watch that video. So therefore, you can see the connection. Uh, but guys, don't forget about the Bucks Crypto Teacher NWO book. Um, your actual stocks. You have your chip stocks. Uh, your cobalt. Your gaming. Never ever bet against the banks. Of course, you have everybody sitting at home. Don't forget about those stocks. Also, uh, the C word. The biotech stocks. Of course, uh, because all these people out of work, they do what? They drink, they smoke weed. Don't forget about those stocks. And, of course, this is not trading advice. I'm just opening up the big picture there for you. I'm not a financial advisor. Y'all have a wonderful day.